Kohima Village Students Union Pra, Thursday, October 5th, KVC Hall, Aro, Tivo Kenuji Pra, Edu Versity, Aro, NPSC Mentors Khan Logode, Educational Fair 2023 Rakishi. Fair Laga Committee Pra Kushiki to event Pra, Educational Institutions, Educators, Students, Aro, Parents Kange Anigina, Knowledge Chair Kurigina, Collaborate Kurbele Karne Ektabal Platform Banabule, Koshisha Se. Ede Exhibition Stall, Pep Talks. Career counseling or networking opportunities can tagishe. 31 institutions pra tai kan laga compartments kolaishe. Kude 16 do educational institutions tagishe. Nota vocational institutes tagishe. Charter coaching institutes or duita banks tagishe. Ek hazar laga upper students kan aigina participate kushe. Hornbill TV is here at Educational Fair organized by Kohima Village Student Union. Here, here with me is the General Secretary of Kohima Village Student Union. We'll get more idea about what is this Educational Fair all about and activities happening. We've organized this Educational Fair with the intention to provide a space where education institutions can come and showcase the various kinds of courses that are available, the facilities that they provide, the fee structures that they have. Then we've uh, provided this space where a vocational institute, a lot of uh, us are confined to our science and commerce, but we wanted to uh, open the arena for our students as well to the various kinds of vocational institutes such as uh, artificial intelligence, then music, then robotics, then uh, uh, skill development, then the various kinds of uh, vocational courses to them as well. And then uh, when we look at our students, uh, a lot of students during the 10th and 12th, they need extra tutoring, so we've invited a lot of uh, co coaching centers as well, so that they can give the various kinds of uh, coaching avenues that are available to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from that, yeah, I missed out a very important aspect, which is uh, we also had a career mentoring program, so, uh, which ran co-currently with the program. And then we also had uh, talks from pep talks from student entrepreneurs because we have a lot of uh, students who are uh, st who have started their own business. So we uh, organized the program as well so that uh, students can come and listen to these uh, talks as well and then get inspired from these stories as well. Yeah. And then we wanted to provide this space for uh, especially our 10 and 12 students because they will be making a, a big step in their career uh, very soon. So we wanted to make that uh, decision for them easier to uh, get a, and have access to the various kinds of uh, educational opportunities that are available to them here. Yeah. Can you please highlight to us like how many departments are set up today? So today we have 31 stalls here, uh, 16 educational institutions, 9 vocational courses, then we have 2 banks and uh, 4 coaching centers. It's a rough estimate but we have uh, more than uh, 1,500 1, students participating here today. It's, it's a day event. We organized it in such a way that uh, it, it was from 12.30 to 4.30. So we organized it in such a way that students can attend the morning classes and then only in the afternoon they came and attend this program. Yeah. So any like, plans, Kohima Valley Student Union, are going to organize this kind of educational fair somewhere around also? Yeah, we will take the feedbacks from, our, uh, from those uh, Institution, uh, institution representatives who are here today and then we will definitely try to hold it in a larger platform in the days to come. Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Limanuk Shipungan. I'm here representing Koima Science College in this uh, educational fair today. Uh, this was a really great event. Uh, I feel grateful for being selected to represent my college. Uh, we've seen a lot of interested students come up uh, inquiring about the college, inquiring about their futures. So we had a really nice talk with them. 
uh, this is a really great event that they have organized. So the uh, Koima Village Students Union, uh, thank you uh, for creating this type of opportunities to let the students know about their futures, to know about their careers, and to have a talk with uh, all the resource persons that came here today. So this is a really great event. This is the first of its kind. Hopefully, as the days progress, as the years progress, they will introduce uh, more of this type of educational affairs for more years to come. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nikita, and I'm a student, master's student in St. Joseph University. So we are representing our university here. Um, uh, why this educational fair should happen is because it increases awareness among the students, like which, which career path to choose and which institution they want to go. They can come and they can uh, see how all the institutions are providing information, and then they can join their own uh, where they want to join on their own um, and then what what is the best thing about our university is that uh, we are already um, going forward with the new education policy I think we are one of the first institutions who have uh, uh, already employed the new education policy since last year and this is the second year going forward uh, plus uh, the only uh, I think university in Nagaland which has hosted the G20 summit meeting as well so there's lots of benefits coming to St. Joseph University so I would be grateful if people join me. Thank you. Humble TV is here at educational fair organized by Kohima Village Student Union. Well, there are lots of activities happening around today here. Uh, So-called educational stalls are set up here. Also, inspirational talks by student entrepreneurs who are both successful in their academic as well as business ventures, and networking opportunities, career counseling, and all. We came to know from the organizer that there are around like 81 departments set up here with over like 1,000 students take part in. That's all for now. I'm Yanbini with Pangloy for Hornbill TV.